I'm Tom Fitzgerald. I'm a creative executive from Walt Disney Imagineering, and I'm here to talk about the, the new films that we're bringing this Friday to Epcot. And first we're looking at Canada, which was incredible. So Canada Far and Wide is our third version of Circle Vision for Canada. It has a lot of DNA from the original. It still has the song in there, which we love. Um, it's digital now, so uh, it looks and sounds better than ever. We have, new uh, we have new footage that we shot in Canada at Whistler, at uh, Quebec City, and also in Okanaga where we have wine country and deserts where we talk about that. We have a lot of new footage that we got from some Canadian cinematographers that broadens our story. And we have Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara who are our narrators, both Canadians and both a love telling a love letter of Canada. Awesome Planet is our new film for The Land Pavilion. It replaces Circle of Life. It is our call to action film about our planet and how important it is that we all pitch in to maintain this incredible planet. We have footage from ILM um, to talk about how unique the formation of the planet is. And then we have, as you can imagine, stunning cinematography, nature photography from filmmakers around the world. Uh, and an incredible new score by Stephen Price, who did Gravity and uh, Born in China for Disney Nature. We also have some 4D effects, but they're done really as a, a spice. It's not like PhilharMagic. This is a big story. This is a really important story. We work with Jane Goodall, um, Sylvia Earle. We have many experts who helped us on the content of how do we talk about how unique our planet is and how important it is that we be better stewards of it. And then, for fun, <laughs> the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. So this is for the France Pavilion. It's in rotation with Impressions to France. That film is still uh, remaining. But this is a fun show for families and kids or any fan of Beauty and the Beast. It's a sing-along, but with a twist. We have some new animation that was created for us by Don Hahn, who was the producer of Beauty and the Beast. And we're twisting the story. We're actually saying, that LeFou was the one who brought Belle and the Beast together. And if that sounds unusual, it is unusual, but that's the fun behind this experience. Lots of your favorite songs, new hand-drawn animation that tie it together. And all three of those, um, we think an important package of, of films and stories for Epcot, part of the transformation of Epcot. We're starting with some of our favorite storytelling things. And hand-drawn animation, that was sort of a, you had to kind of look for animators now so, could still do Don that. Hahn, who was the producer and director of, of this for us, was the producer of Beauty and the Beast. So he knew who to go to. He wanted hand-drawn animation for the new animation so it would seamlessly blend with, with what was from the film. And we got Chris Bacon, a talented composer, to, to write a score that takes the classic songs and threads them together. So it feels like an original film that, and yet the story is a little twisted. And that was the goal. So very different in tone. Um, but three nice flavors of films for it. We can't wait to see Awesome Planet. We've seen the other two. Canada, uh, Far and White, is incredible. And the Beauty and the Beast sing along also with the hand-on animation. It is beautiful, Look too. forward to Awesome Planet. It's yes. awesome. Well, with, 17. with Canada, is, is there a new singer now for the it's Canada? It's the same singer that we had who was the Canadian Idol singer. Okay, for the second um, from version. the last version. But because we were doing a whole new score, we asked our composer, Andrew Lockman, who's a fantastic uh, Canadian composer, if he could go in and reorchestrate the song so that it felt fresh for today. You know, styles change over time. But same vocals and a song that we love.